Hi. So what is a semivowel? Well, it's a consonant that can sound like a vowel. In British RP English, there are two semivowels, y and w. You may hear reference to the r sound being a semivowel, but this is in rhotic forms of English. Now, I did say rhotic, not erotic. Anyway, rhotic forms of English like American, Scottish and Irish. So today, we're going to look at the first of these semi-vowel sounds, y. Why? Because if you've decided you want an RP accent, you need to know this and get it right. So come on, let's begin. The y sound is voiced and when spoken on its own, sounds like y, y. Air flows freely. My tongue is close to the palate at the top, but the sides of my tongue at the back are touching the sides of my upper teeth at the back. Up here. We call it a palatal semivowel. But when using y as a semivowel in a word, there is a quick, smooth, non-friction glide towards a following vowel. In order to make the sound y in a word, you glide very quickly from e or i to the vowel that follows it. And that vowel depends on what word you're saying. For example, I want to say the word yes. In this case, the vowel that follows y is e. So it sounds like this, ie, or even quicker like this. Yeah. With a quick short glide between i and e. Now you try it. Yeah. Hmm, not bad. Now put an s on the end and say yes. Transcribed, it usually looks like this. But it could easily look like this. Got it? If I wanted to say the word your, I would make the quick, short sound i and or, like this, your, your. Have you ever seen the film or read about Winnie the Pooh? Well, I have, because my mum, she used to read me it when I was a little child. It was gorgeous. Well, it was nice. Anyway, it was written by the well-known British author A. A. Milne. Well, there's a character in it called Eeyore. He's a donkey and he's called Eeyore because his name sounds like the sound a donkey makes. Eeyore. So if you can say Eeyore with a nice smooth glide, then shorten the glide to make the glide quicker with a weaker I to say Eeyore. You've cracked it. You can say the word Eeyore. Transcribed, it usually looks like this. But it could easily look like this. And for the word you, I would make the sound i, then quickly glide it to oo. You. So basically, if you can think of the y sound as i, and follow it with the vowel sound in the word you want to say, you might find it easier. Now, here are a few of the most common words containing y. Watch, listen and repeat. Yes, year, your, you, yet, young, use, usual, useful, Europe. Next are words where y is not at the beginning. So to get the sound right, make a quick, weak i sound after the initial consonant and before the following vowel. Watch, listen and repeat. Beautiful, cure, few, huge, music, Tuesday. Ah, now Tuesday is a good example of when some English people use ch instead of t. 
The word Tuesday is pronounced sometimes like this. Tuesday. It's a bit lazy. Now, I know some of you have been taught both British English and American English pronunciation. So, you may find this helpful. Most American speakers do not use Y in words where it would follow T, D, N and th, pronouncing tune as tune, duty as duty or duty, new as new, enthusiasm as enthusiasm. Now, you may of course already know that the Y sound also plays an important part in connected speech. It links two words together where the first word ends with a vowel sound and the second word begins with a vowel sound. Like the phrase, me and you. You can say it like this, me and you, with no linking you. Or like this, me and you. For more on linking you and fast speech, see my videos here. Watch out for my next lesson on the semi-vowel w. Love and peace.